Uh, hi everybody. So I'm just gonna cut straight to the point. If you have an A7S3 and you have this problem, I can show you how to fix this. Now what you're gonna need is first a piece of paper to mark uh, where the screws were and where you unscrewed them from the camera, some tape, a pen to mark things down, and then a bit set. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use some tape. Next I'm gonna identify where these screws are. So uh, I can tell you upon doing this once before that there are a couple screws, I think I believe three screws right here. Um, screws on the bottom I believe you unscrew. There's some screws in the battery compartment, which are hard to see, as well as screws in the eye holder piece. Because eventually you will be taking out this whole front piece here. You need to do that to get access to the loose screw behind this uh, this uh, piece right here. Let's unscrew the, the eyepiece portion. So I'm just going to draw eyepiece. Let's start unscrewing those. Sorry about the uh, the shadow, I'm not in the most ideal lighting condition, I'm working in a small space, so I'll try to narrate as best as I can with what I'm doing. So these are the four pieces here, I'm unscrewing these. Slowly but steady. It comes right off like this. Putting it back is fairly easy, so don't worry too much about um, the positioning of it. Okay, so that's your eyepiece. Unscrewing this portion is uh, pointless here, and unscrewing this guy here is pointless as well, so you can keep those as is. So now we're going to unscrew uh, here, here, here. Um, and move our way out also to the bottom. Here, 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 here. Uh, and possibly the battery compartment, but we might not need to do that, so we'll keep it as is for now. So let's get the uh, next up, we're going to do the bottom of the camera. So we'll label this bottom. It's important to be patient when doing this because obviously you don't want to lose any screws. So now we're going to just take off the bottom base plate portion, like so. Underneath this grip tape here, because I did it before, I can probably just use my nails, but you might need to use a credit card or something else um, to get some leverage on this grip tape. But underneath this grip tape is, you don't need to pull this whole thing back, you can carefully pry it off. And right, right in there, there are t in total three screws that you'll need to undo. One is here, one is here, one is just to the bottom of it right there, and then one is up one is up towards the top that you have to remove. Aha. 
Aha, there you go. Okay, so the bottom plate is now off. Whether you need to do this, um, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but for just just in case, I'm doing it right now. All right, let's do the side, left side. Let's do it port side. Huh. So we have headphone jack. I'm just gonna color this in. the USB-C with one right there and then the micro one right there we can start with those so I'm gonna make some tape just put that there well, the ones I colored in are not the screw holes more so of a reference so I colored in the mic jack just to signify that this is going to be the one screw closest to the mic jack. Put that right there on the top. Unscrew the other two. So one more screw right right here inside the memory card tray. So we're just gonna remove that as well. Our back plate, I'll close that up. Our back plate comes off like so. And you'll see the ribbon cable here on the back of the screen. Uh, what you're gonna do is just carefully not try to bend that so this screw, the top left corner here, we have to remove to remove the plastic housing around the hinge. So take the last screw screws out. Add on screws. So don't need to. Like this one anymore. So just remove the screw at the top left here. Like so. Just close this up. It's kind of hard to keep it open. You should be able to just. Pull this off. There we go. Like so. Just like so. Make sure not to bend anything. And that goes off like that. So the, the front, the the two screws um, on the outside of the camera, behind the screen, uh, that is what fastened here through here and here. We took that off before, so this this piece is okay to dangle like this. And these are the two screws. These are the two hinges here that you need to tighten up. What I'm going to do today is I'm just going to. Yeah, there we go, nice and tight. Nice and tight with you. And now if we just, no wobble. No wobble. So what I'm gonna do today, so I don't have to do this again for the third time. Just take a very small bit of tape, some scissors. There's no pen. Okay. Assembly, reassembly. Pretty easy. Easier. That goes in like that. Kind of snaps in like so. The ribbon cable here should uh, bend, be bend naturally back to its original position, so you don't have to worry about too, it too much. And you just screw everything back. Okay. 